Guys, it's a, it's a new year. This is the year I get my act together. I've been looking at my to-do list and I've realized that there are things that have been there for so long that they've graduated to my bucket list. <laughs> so as I see it, uh, when the kids are grown, I'm retired, I'm gonna buy that roll of toilet paper. <laughs> Um, I, on Facebook, I get a lot of bucket list ads. It says, what's on your LA bucket list? And it's a link to, you know, 100 things you can do in LA before you die. And I, first of all, I don't, I, I'm not ready to die. Second of all, I don't want to die in LA. You know, I, I, I have great plans of, of dying in a, at, at the beach or in the mountains and please don't let me die on the 101. That sounds awful. <laughs> I was in Vegas recently and I was eating dinner with a friend. She leans in, she goes, don't look now. Rod Stewart is at the table next to us and he looks awful. <laughs> so I waited a few minutes, I looked. It was Barry Manilow. <laughs> and she looked amazing. Um, I wonder if the Beach Boys still want to catch a glimpse of Port-au-Prince or if they've written it off the Kokomo itinerary completely. Um, as you can probably tell, I'm, I'm a huge Tyler Perry fan. Um, I, I'm a fan of all his movies and I, I'm engaged. So I, I, I've watched Why Did I Get Married? I've seen Why Did I Get Married 2? I'm looking forward to what did I get married for? <laughs> and in two years, you know I'll be first in line for I ate my wife. Uh, Twain once said, who do you think you are? Brad Pitt? That don't impress me much. I, um, I, I was on a commercial audition the other day and I was in the waiting room and there was a, a kid in the room, he's about six years old, red hair, freckles, headshot in one hand. You know, he had a, a sideways baseball cap, baggy t-shirt, cool baggy jeans, kind of had a little bit of an attitude. We're both sitting in the same waiting room and he looks at me and winks. Six years old, winks at me. And part of me is like, okay, well, that's really funny. And the other part of me was like, Julia, don't fall for another bad boy. <laughs> I went to Starbucks the other day and I was too early. Um, I got to the door and it said, we're closed. And there's a sign that said, but we're always open at starbucks.com. And it's so frustrating because I drove here, I'm parked, I'm standing here. I can't take a dump at Starbucks.com. <laughs> I've been watching a lot of America's Funniest Home Videos recently. It's the, the YouTube of the 90s. And it's, it's funny, but there, every so often there's a clip at, which, <laughs> at the end of which you say, that kid is dead. That accident went horribly wrong in the snow, and I have a bad feeling about that one. That wasn't so much funny as terrifying. And if the kid did die, I wish that the host, Tom Bergeron or Bob Saget, would just, you know, be straight with us. And, you know, let's give it up for tonight's $10,000 winner, uh-oh, in the snow. Now let's all take a moment of silence to remember young Kevin Carlson who passed away at the end of that video. <laughs> if anyone has any information about the squirrel that was driving the snowmobile, call the number below. He was last seen wearing a tiny red helmet. <laughs> Speaking of accidents, when are abused staircases gonna stop using the old, a lady fell down me? Excuse. <laughs> um, I, I, I 
hate paying pie check because it's embarrassing. I have no creative control over the design of my checks that my bank sends me. And I, I think I recently paid my rent with a check that had a watercolor of two puppies playing tug of war with a gym sock, which I don't fair, <laughs> think fairly represents me. And it made me wonder that, you know, if these rich corporations, when they do the big check ceremony, if they get a starter pack of those big styrofoam checks, and I, I imagine the ceremony going something like, on behalf of the Annenberg Foundation, we are pleased to present this check for $500,000 to the Jewish Community Center. Our, our apologies in advance for the check with the two big dogs playing tug of war with a towel on it. We forgot to restock the checks. Um, did you guys hear about the terrorists that tried to blow up an air mattress? It didn't work, and he ended up crashing on the couch. <laughs> Last time I told that joke, it totally bombed. <laughs> Nobody did anything to stop it. Um, I live in Hollywood, and, there, and there's a billboard that... <laughs> says, it's, it's a black and white photograph of a man putting makeup on a beautiful model, and it says, make up your career. Apply to the Makeup Institute. And if, if I wanted to make up my career, I'd stand here and tell you I was a nacho scientist. <laughs> I went, <laughs> they've changed the billboard since I first wrote that joke, and now it says, go back to makeup school. And it's the same picture, it says go back to makeup school, which I ended up having to do after I failed out of the Tostitos Institute. <laughs> um, I, uh, I downloaded the new pregnancy app on, on the iPhone. Um, it, you just download it, you pee on the phone. <laughs> 10 iPhones later, I realize I can't have children. Um, ha have you guys heard about uh, Let's Move? It's uh, Michelle Obama's new program to combat childhood obesity. So basically, Let's Move is Michelle Obama's response to childhood obesity. It was also my response to that time a fat family moved into my neighborhood. Um, one of my, my favorite holidays is Father's Day, and, and this past Father's Day, I got my dad everything I was told to get him, which was, uh, you know, a necktie, a card, a fishing rod from Ar Orvis, um, you know, a Verizon family plan, a Toyota Tundra with 0% APR financing till 2013. Um, so I, I got my dad all this stuff. Um, and then, unfortunately, my dad passed away when I was young, so I brought everything to his grave. He was buried at sea. <laughs> <laughs>